Only the crones of the Doshkalin dwell permanently in the sacred city, them and their slaves and servants. Yet Vaste Athrak is large enough to house every man of the Kalasar, should all the Kals return to the mother at once. The crones have prophecies that one day that will come to pass, and so Vast Dothrak must be ready to embrace all its children. Hey guys, Master of Lore back at it again, and today we're doing another short video on Westeros, and a very specific city, that being Vaste Dothrak. Uh, which is in Essos, and it's the city of the Dothraki people. Um, we see it throughout Daenerys' storyline, and we've seen it in the show as well. And so yeah, so we're making this video just to educate you guys on another location from Westeros, and I hope you enjoy. Vast Dothraki is the only city of the Dothraki people. It is located in the northeast of the Vast Dothraki Sea, right by the Mother of Mountains and near the Lake of the Womb of the World. So something really interesting about Vast Dothrak is, of course, it's a city of uh, herding people. And just like our real-life Genghis Khan, his city has no walls, uh, which makes a lot of sense because they obviously move very quickly. Uh, as a people, they can gather all their things at once, which is how we know they travel both in the show and in the novels. So the city is ruled and inhabited by slaves in the Dosh Kaleen. The Dosh Kaleen being the wives of all the cows who've come before, of course. Um, essentially, it's all the widows. Uh, it's forbidden to use or bring any weapons into the city as well. Uh, we know this from the show uh, when Jorah and Dario Naharis have to remove their weapons when going in. Uh, when Danny goes in and performs her whole burn down of the building. And something that's really interesting is that the name Vase Dothrak means city of riders in Dothraki as well. It's known as being one of the largest cities in the Song of Ice and Fire. And uh, it's really interesting because it has a really big layout, but the population's small because of how much moving and herding goes on, I guess, with the people. It's broad and all of the roads in the city are just mud. Uh, there's a lot of carved stone pavilions. And a lot of the things that we don't know too is that there's a lot of manses there too. It's known that Cal Drogo had a huge mansion, which wasn't shown in the TV show. But we know that from the novels that he's like crazy rich, has all these slaves and women running around. And it's really interesting when you read about it. Something that's really interesting, too, is that all the buildings in the city were brought there by slaves from around uh, all of Essos and all of the peoples that were conquered by the Dothraki. So it's really uh, different culturally all around the city, uh, which is something that's really cool. Um, and it kind of plays into the whole Misa and mother storyline of Daenerys Targaryen, because obviously the city itself is described as being uh, the womb of the world, or and it's right by the mother of mountains and the womb of the world, which is the sea. Something that's really interesting too is that the God's Way runs from the horse gate of the Vesothrak, which we see as well, which is the whole, not the Titan of Bravos, essentially, but you see that huge entrance with the two horses. It's really interesting because it reminds me of the statues of Arnor, which essentially is the two statues that we see in the Lord of the Rings when they put Boromir on the boats and he sails down the river of the Anduin. The horse gate as well is lined with a lot of monuments and holy symbols from different religions and cultures, both from the west and the east, which is cool because it shows how many peoples the Dothraki have conquered. Vase Dothraki is also known as having one of the largest markets in the Song of Ice and Fire as well. And there's two markets in the city. There's the west market and the east market, not too hard to remember. Uh, the west market is basically Grand Bazaar uh, and it has many traders from the free cities. Something that's interesting about it is it has many animal pens and drinking halls and there's lots of hammocks all lying around the market which is kind of cool and the east market is a lot of traders from Ashai, Yiti and the Shadowlands uh, so it's kind of a darker place to go. You can find things such as manticores and elephants and the Zorses which are essentially zebras which are only found in Jogosnai. And to end this video I'm going to leave you with a quote by Daenerys Targaryen which is in this place. The crones of the Dosh Kaleen had decreed all Dithraki were one blood, one Kalasar, one herd. And yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. Uh, finding out a little bit more info on the Vase Dothrak, which is the main city of the Dothraki people. And please click that like and subscribe button down below. And uh, let me know what your favorite city of A Song of Ice and Fire is. And uh, yeah, we can talk about it. Thanks guys and take care.